Good morning from the House of I think annual House of Mouse Expo. Just minutes from all the two. John That's the kind of day we're in for today. For the first ever House of Mouse Expo. Celebrities, show floor, vendors. That guy. I love this guy. <laughs> Happy Lots Expo. Of, yeah, man. How you doing? Lots of fun to be had. And we're going to spend a little time. We're going to walk on the show floor. Please be able to share and invite a friend to come by. Uh, we've had a lot of fun so far. Two days, today and tomorrow, um, we have a booth. Uh, friends have a booth, and there's a lot of good stuff being uh, exhibited. This is my favorite part. It's not just the celebrities, but the stuff on the show floor. So do me a favor, tag and invite a friend to come along and watch with us. We'll do a little tour of this. It's obviously brought to you by our friends over at the House of Mouse. We'll see if we can find Scott or Michelle at some point. This year, I'm once again sharing a booth with our friends from Mouse Fan Travel. Hello, ladies. Hi there. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Look at this. Stan Lee stopped by our booth. The spirit of Stan Lee stopped by our booth. Stan, it's always good to see you. Yeah, good seeing you. I We've seen Stan before on the show. We've um, live from Megacon a couple years ago. and. Who knows, if you go to Galaxy's Edge, you might find Stan. Uh, yeah, come not... up, say hi. Yeah, yeah. Just ask the ones. There's a guy that looks like Stan Lee. They'll, they'll point you out there. <laughs> That's great. I, have I love it. Of, I have a lot of fun with it over there. Yeah. Yeah. People, people recognize me and they want to take pictures a lot. So. Yeah. And I love that you know. keep the legacy of, of Stan Lee Well, that's basically alive. what I'm trying to do. Because you know, it won't be long, it's just going to be pictures and some film, and then it's going to slide away. But I need to no, get to some of the bigger ones, but you know, you never know. I might, uh, might get along somewhere where people will see me and say, hey, you know, he can keep the image going. And, and you know, I do my best to keep it as low key as possible because he wasn't really a high key yeah. person. He was very low key and, and, and uh, research I done, he was such a great guy. He was such a great guy with his fans and stuff. And that's what I try to try to keep going for him. You know, that's the least you can do for a genius. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun to keep the Stanley cameos going in the Marvel movies? Yeah, no, I think they said they're not going to do uh, that. Yeah, I, that. You, yeah. I think he is done. So. Mouse Van Travel has a raffle yeah. going. Yeah. This weekend, they do, it's a they've good got raffle. a nice big raffle. It's they've got two, raffle. one today, one tomorrow. This is my favorite part. Look at that. The 50th anniversary. Oh, there you go. Yeah. The radio has a raffle going. We've got a lot of stuff going on. Go. We have a little uh, giveaway going, a little Instagram contest. Filled. I filled it to the brim. All this, this stuff all hidden down here. Stuff all the way. There's Marvel, Disney, Funko, Pixar. Mandalorian stuff in here. I don't even remember what I put in here. Water bottles, mugs, lots of good stuff. Kimberly Bouchard from Positively Disney and her series of Positively Disney books and her brand new Positively Disney cookbook, which has dozens and dozens of recipes from some of your favorite Disney celebrities, some of whom are here this weekend. It's always nice to see Kimberly again. You can find all of her stuff over at Positively Disney. Dot com and all the Positively Disney's on the socials and you can find some great stories by Kimberly in her Positively Disney series. You're going to be speaking later today. Maybe we'll pop in and hear, uh, and hear Kimberly speak as well. Our friends from the Disney Nerds podcast. What's up, nerd? Hello, how Good are seeing you? seeing you, brother, man. Good to see you. A wrestling champion and pretty darn good Maui. That's amazing. We'll see you tomorrow. Maui, that is super cool, brother. Thank you. I dig that. You make that all yourself? Yes, sir. That is pretty impressive. That's cool, man. Thank you. Our friends at World of DVC. Nice You're to see you. are not as impressive. Well, <laughs> but, I mean. I know. It's hard to be Maui. Tomorrow I'm oh. expecting you to come with a giant yeah, prop yeah. like okay, that. Yeah, we'll get to work on that. <laughs> we'll do a song and dance act. Right. 
just don't ask me. <laughs> oh, World of Disney is World of DVC is spinning the wheel of destiny too. Lots of fun giveaways. A lot of super talented artists. I really like this Rocketeer. What I love about these events are so many creatives that find their ways to express their love of Disney and Marvel and Star Wars fandom in a lot of creative and different ways. I can't necessarily pull one of these hats off, but the Owls of Athena, um, that's a pretty impressive display. Hello. I love that there's a little something for everyone whenever you come to these events. I shouldn't be here when I'm hungry. Oh, these are my favorites. Wait a minute. Do you make these all yourself? I don't. This used to be my grandma's business. So we've actually oh, wow. had the same suppliers for over 40 years. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. I took it over 40 years ago. And dark chocolate is a superfood, so it's technically healthy. Exactly. Is... And with the nuts, it's even healthier. See? I like the way you think. I'm going to be coming back for some dark chocolate in the interest of my, uh, in the interest of my health. A lot of... <laughs> Ear creators, sparkling dreamers. Just remember the castle. We make the gem just like the castle has a gem on it. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> and you make all these yourself? Yeah, we have some people that help us. It's all handmade. <laughs> these are very impressive. Yeah. Those are the best ones we want. <laughs> And if people want to find you, and there's all your contact info. Uh, this is the booth I need to stay away from. <laughs> Not just because it's Bill and Melanie, but because you can very easily spend a lot here. But you can't have this. I've got my eye on this one here. Yeah? This could be a Christmas gift. So is this, Robin, is this like, it is not a reproduction. It no, is it's, old school. It's old like, school with the original tag. Here. It's 1970 something. And it's got the original tag on it? It's got the original tag. Oh my goodness. That's worth I got I got all excited about this. Yeah. And then he told me how much it cost. Yeah, don't get too excited, Lon. It's It's... It's way out of a podcaster budget, but that's super cool. And this is one of only how many? One of 24. One of 24. I still don't know why you don't have this in a box. Was I, he it's green? freaking was out. He green? That's why it's one of 24. He's very. He's a very. He's, he's a shiny in, version. He's in the purple outfit. <coughs> he's just kind of freaking me out. Yeah, he's kind of freaking me out a little bit. Club 30. Wait a minute. Shanghai. Shanghai. How much is this? How much? 300. These are from Shanghai. Club 
Oh, I get it. Han Solo. Oh, I see what he did there. I see what he did there. That Don. That Don. What is your favorite, most desirable, most expensive, priceless, exciting item in the whole collection? What is your sort of magical memory gal gallery holy grail? She has that, but... Signed by Robbie, painted by Paige O'Hara, the voice of Belle. And on the back, it's a publisher's proof, 2 of 2. Marla says hello, by the way. Hello, Marla. Oh, God. I didn't do that. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, what's he got? I just ruined it. Oh, 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 no. He's got it on the back. But on the back. I believe you. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's tied. It's tied. Yeah. It's oh, okay. wow. It's all signed by everybody that was in the movie. Wow, that's impressive. Do I even venture to ask what, if someone wanted to put this beautiful piece of art in their home? See, I got to stay away from this booth. You guys have such nice stuff in here. Look at that. $24.90. No, that's not, I might move the decimal point a little bit too. Actually, I'll show you my favorite piece that I'm really having a tough time staying away from. I love, love, love this. And this is, it's a Harrison Ellenshaw, right? Yes. It's Peter Ellenshaw's son. Yes. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yes. I'm not even gonna ask. I'm not even gonna ask what I'll just keep watching the YouTube video. It's, <laughs> it's beautiful. It really is. It's beautiful. Of course, you can't have a con without Funko. Lots of cool Funko items here. And did you know that Panda smells? Oh, just leave it did there. You know that just Panda leave it smells? there. That's it. We're done. Oh my gosh, I, not you, What's move up, out of the Lou? way. You look beautiful. Winifred, you don't know I, Winifred? Of course I do, but she still looks beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Panda, if you can, what's your favorite smell? What's your favorite smelly favorite panda? My smell is going to be cinnamon and cloves. You have Not it? even a Disney one. I don't because I because I kept it at home for myself. But other favorite the best smell scent I have isn't oh, here. Just like so you're the worst salesman. Ever. Beauty and the Beast, they figured out was grapefruit and rose petal. Let me see. Tell me what you think for real. Grapefruit? I know grapefruit, but it's it, with the rose. It does give a nice... I'm allergic to grapefruit, just so you know. Okay, oh, I'm, really? I'm going into anaphylactic shock. Thank you for this. I have an epic pen. It's only water. Shh. That's really good. Right? Beauty and the Beast gets me for some reason. <laughs> What's going on, brother? How you doing, man? Good. New subscriber. Give me a high five. What's your name? Evan. Evan, you having a good time? Yes, I am. What's the, what's the best thing you've seen so far? He's my truck, and I just got to see John Nuts murder inside the place. Right? How cool is that? We're going to go over and check out the celebrities in a little bit. Yep. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. If you are an autograph collector, how you doing, man? Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Well, these are very cool. Yeah, we are Cool Waters Productions at Cool Waters Prods on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We are doing deals today, so come on down and see us. <laughs> oh, wait, who signed your Tron? We've got Bruce and Cindy. I'm a sucker for a good try. I can't look. I can't. You can I mean, look. I can look. You can look. I'll be back. Oh, yeah. I'll come back. So I love, 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 not just the fact that here, I love supporting a lot of the independent creators as much as I can. Uh, we had a chance to actually meet and chat a little while earlier and she just came up with some of these ideas for stickers and coin purses and t-shirts 
Another con coming up that I, I love attending is Central Florida Comic Con, which is at the RP Funding Center, just a little bit north of Walt Disney. We're about a half hour away, coming back in January to Lakeland, Florida. If you go to cfclakeland.com, you can find out about their January uh, event. Much like this, um, a lot of vendors and tables and autograph sessions. I dig what these guys at the Theme Park Preservation Society are doing. Kungaloos, gentlemen. Kungaloos. I figured that's the appropriate thing to say, just because I'm assuming you don't dress like this every day. He does. Well, maybe you do. Well, maybe, you do. Maybe, that's, maybe, that's, 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 maybe I shouldn't judge. This is super. And your name is? Uh, Charles Thatcher, Adventure Extraordinaire, yes. Well, I just say my name is Lou. I get, he gets Otherwise full... known as Stuart. <laughs> and you are? I'm Henry. I am the proprietor here. Henry, this is super cool stuff. Thank you. Inspired by some of Walt Disney World's current and former favorite attractions. Mm -hmm. A little bit of everything. Try to dive deep and pluck the most interesting nuggets. I dig it, man. I dig some of the super cool, semi-obscure. Like, not a, people, a lot of people are like, I miss Sid Quingas. I, for one, miss Sid Quingas. Hey, hey, yes. <laughs> There's lots of fun. What is this? Those are our trading cards. Um, so all the trading cards are double-sided. Yeah. They have character descriptions on the back. No uh, way. Citizens of Hollywood, that is the, as of now, final cast. Uh, from uh, it's got their autographs on the back as well. Uh, we do have members of the Society of Explorers and Adventurers and the Adventurers Club. And you've got pins, and you've got stick. Oh, we need to come. I need to come back and chat with you, gentlemen. I'm not saying some of these things will make cool Christmas presents and stocking stuff for gifts, but. These are awesome. Yes. These are super, super cool. Thank you. I put a lot of love in <laughs> Are you the artist? I am. Wow. I am a, uh, I'm a big fan of the SCA, specifically one Lord Henry Mystic. <laughs> okay. If people want to find you online, where would they go? Uh, ThemeParkPreservationSociety.org. Uh, we're also on Etsy uh, at Theme Park Society. Very cool. I did it. Gentlemen, I, I will be back. Thank you. This is my table right here. This is the table of nothing. Some of these booths, they stink. They smell like this one. Hi, guys. How are you? It's Lisa Denota <laughs> Glassner from Core <laughs> Memory Candles. Rocking the new logo, by the way. Yes. Canva? So did you do that on Canva? I made her on Canva, <laughs> yes. She was clip art. <laughs> no. I had a great, amazing artist. And this is your very first foray into the... In person. Into the con space. <laughs> Chandler Bain Bainler, Bainler says Hi, hello. Chandler. Um, yeah, this is my first in-person event, and it's been an education, <laughs> but it's super cool. Look. So I found out that I got to be alone for two days, and so I created a space that I would want to hang out in for two days. You've got your, you got your like, little tin vessels. I have the tin. You've got your Glass white vessels. vessels. Oh, it smells oil. so like Disney in here. It smells so fragrant. Oh, you've got your little warmer going. Mm -hmm. Fancy schmancy, look at you. Chandler is smiling from ear to ear. 
Thanks, Chandler. Look, and look, this is my little bone. So this is my park hopper collection. You open it up, there's a note inside that talks about Walden in the four parts. And then inside, like for this one, this is the Park Hopper collection. So it has Main Street for Magic Kingdom, Fall of Rome for Spaceship Earth in Epcot, Bright Suns for Batu in Hollywood Studios, and Ocean Flight for Flight of Passage in Alamo. And for people who can't get here but might want to have some Christmas presents and or stocking stuffers, where can they find you? You can screenshot this QR code. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, or you can just tell them to go no, to... No, corememorycandles.com is the site, and it's also the shop tab on the Castle Run website. So you can find me right there. And if you want your candles by Christmas, order by... December 5th. December 5th for Christmas this year. You can push it a little further if you want to, but the post office is so overrun that I wanted to make sure people got it in a nice way. Get your white vessels while you can. Yeah, they are. That's it. That's it. That's all you That's have. That's it. When they're gone, the rest they're of gone. them are in a, on a ship in the LA Harbor. So. <laughs> Since September, they've been sitting there, which is great. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. Nice. Have fun. I mentioned before there are a ton of incredibly talented artists doing some super creative stuff. This is Monty the Unfortunate Octopus. I totally, and I'm assuming that you are T. Kyle Gentry. I am. And it's the macabre. McMorbidly's. McMorbidly's. Yep, so this is all one family, and their names are in, and their backstory are in the back of each character. And the Monty series is an interactive art series. Oh, so the way it works is this. This is Monty, he's been pulled out of the water by this deranged sea captain, right? And he's being handed off to all the members of his crew and they're all kind of having a little bit of fun with him at his expense. You start with this one and you end with this one. He's stolen the captain's clothes and he's gotten away. Between them, you can take any of the ones that I create and they all make one long image. Oh, how smart is that? And you can change the order of the ones in the middle and add to or take away from it, make it as long or as short as you want and play with the artwork on your wall and change his story. Oh. Dude, that's smart. I dig that a lot. It's highly collectible, and it also helps people who have limited wall space. So they can make it kind of short if they want and just take one or two images out here and there and just kind of have some fun. That's super cool. If, they, if people who can't get here want to find you online? Yes, this is my website. And the links to my store, as well as uh, my Instagram account and my Facebook fan page, they're all there at the very top of the main page on my website. All the symbols for each website. Those are super cool, man. Thank you. And this is the logo for the next phase of this. When I get up to fa 50 family members, I'm going to create a family album art book. And in their world, I'm an art historian, and I found an abandoned town in New England, right? In the 18, like from the 1880s, everybody just dropped what they were doing and just mysteriously disappeared. But at the top of a hill overlooking the town, there's this burnt down massive mansion. It used to be huge, it's all timbers and rotted wood, now it's all burnt down. And I start digging around and I find this chest full of all these old moldy photographs and all these biographies about each family member. I don't know who wrote them, I don't know who took the pictures. <laughs> you know, I'm the artist, so of course, but I put them myself in the story. So once the family album comes out and I sell it as an art book, um, I'm gonna work on the next phase and I discover Another thing that's cool in their kind of behind their house, they had a private family menagerie zoo. <laughs> and the next phase is going to be all animals. Because the pets have done really well. People are really excited about the pets. I'm like, what if I just took and made the next thing all about like all these historical and mythological and crazy animals they found all over the world and collected? And so I'm selling the pins to kind of help promote the, the next phase and all that. I dig it, man. I love that the art is more than what's on. The canvas, yeah. but there's a, a huge story behind that. Yep. Very, story very cool, man. I dig it. Thank you. Thank you. Speaking of great storytellers, nice segue. You may or may not remember during Megacon, we had a chance to quickly meet Trader Brandon, former Walt Disney Imagineer. Hello, Brandon. Hello. Trader Brandon. Good to see you again. How's things? Things are awesome. You always have like the best booth too. I try. So I well try. themed. It's as if you sort of come from you a know, from a background really of storytelling and, and, and theming.
So if some of Brandon's work seems eerily familiar, as if maybe it was inspired by, I don't know, maybe, maybe a certain, you know, Trader's Tiki Bar somewhere, <laughs> he may or may not have had a hand in uh, helping to tell that story as well. And besides all the cool artwork and sculptures and album, I love the fact that there's a Trader Brandon action figure. <laughs> Mint on card. Is this is this the mail away one? Like I had to collect a certain no, number of the, pop. That's on the back. You can get the uh, yeah. <laughs> You, the get the, you get the Charles <laughs> Thatcher exclusive with the playset, but that's a whole different... Uh... <laughs> and just very quickly, your, your, your Disney backstory as oh, it were. Oh, good heaven. Quickly? Quickly. What, well, give me... So, tease, because we're gonna, tease. I'm going to have Bra I'm gonna have Brandon on the show soon. One of these days, One we're going to make days. it happen. We're going to do it. Some of the projects you've worked on include, but not are lim but is not limited to. Uh, Trader Sam's One, Trader Sam's Two, uh, Pandora, Iron Man: The Experience in Hong Kong, Haunted Mansion, Matterhorn, Grizzly Peak, Mystic Manor, uh, Grizzly Gulch. Uh, it's like Sleeping Beauty Castle. Uh, yeah, it's like a pop quiz. I, I'm sure there's more, but those are the ones that go off the top of my head. So you've disappointed your parents. You're a bit of an underachiever, yes. but you're trying to, to sort of... I, you know, <laughs> every day I'm trying to make up for it. That's it. As soon as you said Mystic Manor, my little Mystic eyes Manor. widened. A little bit. A little bit of Mystic Manor. There's a couple things in the queue that I did, and that was a big one. So I helped out pulling some images for the restaurant, and, and uh, there's some Adventurers Club masks in the restaurant at Mystic Manor, because mm. I did not use them in Sam's, so I donated those to Mystic. So those are there. Uh, but yeah. A lot of love for Trader Sam's coming a through. And coming well, in, so. tell people tomorrow. We're going to talk about it at 11 o'clock. I'm going to see if maybe I can go in and uh, see if they'll let me share some of your conversation for those who can't get Why here. Why not? And uh, like I said, we'll do. It'll I'm sure fun. I'm sure a conversation, 10, 15 minutes, we can cover Tops. everything we need. <laughs> I mean, and I'll have to stretch to find yeah, stuff to yeah, talk we'll about just, in that we'll 15. Yeah, yeah. But if people want to find you online, where uh, can they find you? TraderBrandon.com or Instagram is at Trader underscore Brandon. Totally. we got to find the guy who owns Trader Brandon and yeah, have yeah. a conversation. Yeah, we'll do that too. <laughs> cool, brother. Thank you. Good to see you. You too. Probably help for anything like What's up, International hey, Candy bro, Company? You, you had me at candy. At candy, right? Yeah, candy. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love the Japanese candies. I love the Japanese gummy candies. I'm going to have to come back and go shopping a little bit later okay, on. Okay, you heard it, everybody. You heard it. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm coming back shopping. All right. I'm going to pay for my gas this week. Ooh, Marvel mystery packages. Anything from alarm clocks to banks, from stickers to magnets. I dig the mystery packages. Of course, they really scare me, though. I'm not going to get something cool. <laughs> They were for yeah, my granddaughter's yeah. diapers. Uh -huh. yeah. We wound up using them on these, and then these are her Rapunzel ones. Really and they're always two-sided, so... He's in my bag! Oh my god! Oh, yes! I, I'm so, you, you just, can order him on my Etsy. But this is a special, um, special one I made. special bow, but I left it home. Yeah, the brown... I'll it's supposed it to be his brown uh, pot. Black power pot, yeah. So I have to get it and bring it home over. Oh. No, this is him with the Chef Mickey, uh, with the uh, Remy hat. Remy hat. Oh, he stop it! That, yeah. yes. Oh, did, did you make a little yep. Remy hat? Yeah. yeah. Remy. Is it yeah, awkward being next to each other? We're friends. Oh, okay. <laughs> we really know like, each what? other, so... And my ears are totally different from her ears. So. All right, so while she's talking about her ears, sure. we ca I came by and saw these earlier because yours are yours are different in a lot of ways, not just because they're not squishy and fluffy and they're not sewn ears. They're not sewn ears. They're, they're printed ears. They're 3D printed. But more importantly, wait, wait, wait. All right, so, so I can take my ears off and I can take my bow off and I can change it. 
So now I've got. Go. I'm gonna guess that it's either magnets or witchcraft that makes that happen. It's magic. So now I've got a Peter Pan set. So all you need to do is bring one headband. One headband, and you pick out your ears and your bows you're gonna bring, everything's magnetic. It, they pack down into a quart-sized Ziploc bag easily, and um, that way you can carry them with you throughout the day. And I dig that you get like super nerdy. So like, I, I am a member of the Shield, We Are Shield group, so I, I do get some of that. And Nerdy I think you said some of these are glow-in-the-dark, too? Yes. So the these two glow blue. The white part glows blue at night if you've worn them all day. This set here, the white, is made out, is the same as this one. So the background glows blue. This does not glow, so it'll be a black silhouette at night. Um, and then my pirate ears glow green. That's super cool. And for those people who can't get here but are interested, where can they find you? DragonGirlDesignCo.com Those are super neat. I love it. I love it. And the questions are coming in terms of ballpark price for a so, a headband and, and ears? So this set here would be your, your base set. Um, so it is $35. So if they don't glow, they're $35. If they glow, they're $45. And then my 50th ears are $55. You get a special bow made. But if you get that, you also get a special bow made out of this material. So you would get two bows with that one. Oh, OK. And I love your Miss Minutes ears. Yes, my Miss Minutes. I dig it. So if you're going to wear a Loki t-shirt, you wear your Miss right? Minutes ears. That's awesome. How long have you been doing this? Um, about two years. Okay. Okay. Those are great. And since you're friends, I can come over and talk to you. No, you're good. I don't think he's Mark Daniel. You ever heard of this? Well, you see him. <laughs> we'll see. He won't, yeah, he won't be around. Can I have a peg? Yes. Yes, you keep asking me about pegs. Can you know where they are? I was worried that it was awkward that you were next <laughs> to another ear lady, no! but she says you're kind of friends, but not no, really. No, we're very good no, friends. We're good. That's we're not what you said before. No. You said we're kind of friends. Uh, like yeah, her. Their dog, her dog came from our rescue group. <laughs> These are great, too. These are super. And you, no, I'm I, assuming... I, I, I love other ear makers. Everyone makes such cool things. Yeah, There's something makes for everybody. Yeah, everybody oh, makes different stuff. Oh, wait. Wow. Oh, yeah, a lot of these light up too. Oh, those are cool. I put the out with the on And for people who can't get here, this weekend, where can yes, they find you? I have Etsy, so my ears, I'm also on Instagram. Yes. These are great. Really cool. Thank you. Oh, we'll see you, Raina. You gotta get, I put a special bow on it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That guy takes forever to get them to you. Well, we want to Thank you. Thank you. Oh, are you trying to them? Hey man, how you doing? Good. Yeah, brother, how you doing? Hi, very good. You having fun? Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm not a pin guy, but I like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love about these events is there's something for everybody. So if you are a pin trader, these are your people too. Lots of independent artists.
too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, that's cool. And if you are in the area, um, House of Mouse Expo is going on tomorrow as well. So you can come by and check it out. And there's plenty of other panel discussions that are going on and celebrity autograph signings. We'll head on over to that room in just a couple of minutes. Very cool, man. For people who can't get here, can they find your stuff online? Uh, MotleyKingdom.com or on Instagram. Very cool, I dig it. Lots of cool, fun stuff. Just in time for the holidays, too. And then down here. A few more artists. Some great photo opportunities. And then if you know DJ Elliot, this is DJ Elliot's Pizza Planet truck. He bought it, built it, he painted it, and it is literally screen accurate, down to the last detail. It's also an area for some arts and crafts for kids. I tell you, Scott and Michelle did a really, really good job putting this event together, assembling not just a great group of attendees, but vendors as well. Some official Star Wars art. Other than that, good morning. Good morning, or is it afternoon? I have yet? no idea. Close, almost afternoon. I've lost all, <laughs> it's like a casino in here. There's no windows, so you have no idea what time but it is. But there are doors. There it's are. not the Haunted Mansion, <laughs> so we're fine. <laughs> you are the Dapper Danielle. I am. I talk about random Disney things in the middle of the night that you probably don't care about, but I'm going to tell you anyway. I'm sure we do care about it because we're all... <laughs> I love your alligator Loki, like... Thank you, yes, he's the Bayou variant. Um, <laughs> um, he, this is his first appearance really at like a convention and whatnot, so... It is his grand and glorious it debut. Is. As well as the holiday items, too. Oh, these are beautiful. Thank you. And if people want to find you, they can find you at... Etsy, Insta, oh, obviously. Yep, it's the Dapper Danielle on all the things. <laughs> I love it. You having a good time so far? I am. Trying to stay awake. I, I don't usually do these mornings. I do middle of the night. So. Somebody needs to get her some caffeine in her I need gigantic more. Starbucks cup. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Nice meeting you. Well, hi there. I'm assuming you're Nikki. Uh, yes. Based that on is. the fact that this that your booth is Nikki, the art of Nikki Ward. That is correct. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm great. Good. Oh, these are super cool. I love the creativity of independent artists getting to sort of express oh. their fandom in so many different ways. Thank you so so much. I love Disney and I love doing what I do. And you're all so talented. I feel so inadequate when I come to these things. No, no, no. Everybody's good at something, and this all takes I'm practice. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm good at, so I'm going <laughs> to... Oh, that one invention is great. Thank you. Yeah, all of my work, I start with sketch, and then it's all colored digitally. And if people want to find you, there you are. Artofnickyward.com. 
at Art of Nikki Ward. Follow me on Insta. <laughs> Oh, this is great. Thank you. Thank you so much. So let's take a look. Let's go outside and show you what else is happening here. Because there are multiple rooms. Actually, you can see there's a number of cosplayers who are here as well. And I really like some of these smaller events like this because it really gives you a chance to like not be in like these huge crowds. And in a room like this, it's great photo and interview and, and meet opportunities. There's a lot, of, a lot of Disney celebrities here in one room, which is great. Margaret Kerry, Tinkerbell, John Ratzenberger. I mean, what, how many nines? I don't think you want to film. Okay. Yes. It is about to. You can do it from a distance. No problem. Google Stewart. Hi. How can I help you? So we're not allowed to... I'm just... I'm live. Yeah. We're okay. not We're not supposed to do any pictures or... Okay. No problem. Video, I guess. Michelle. Can you please stop? Yeah. Uh, we have made a full circle. So there you go. There's a quick look at what the first House of Mouse Expo is like. Thank you very much for joining me virtually today. Uh, again, if you're in the Orlando area, you can come out and visit House of Mouse Expo. You can just walk up and get tickets at the door. It's about 15, 20 minutes from Walt Disney World. Easy drive. A lot of fun stuff going on here today. So thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And then stay tuned. Maybe we'll be live again tomorrow. See you.